Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today I thought I'd do a questions and answers with me because I realise I post all these videos on kind of social media and on my YouTube and for those of you that watch you don't really know that much about me so I thought it would be appropriate to do a question and answers video just so you can kind of get to know me a little bit better and also I did put an Instagram story up and I said just let me know what videos you want to see and I had so many people asking me to do questions and answers or you know let us know a bit more about you kind of thing so i then decided to do a story on my instagram which that is my instagram it's code of the future and we are doing quite well on the followers it's not even focusing got over fifty thousand followers so i'm honestly like blown away with that so so i posted this story on and it just said if you know i'm gonna do a q a ask me any questions and you didn't disappoint i honestly had i had so many like so many it's still going still going apparently there ends like honestly i had so many and <laughs> i just i i mean i'm not gonna be able to answer all of them but i'm gonna answer kind of some that i thought would be appropriate to answer on this channel because i did get some um, very interesting questions i must admit but um i what i've done is i've put the ones that the ones that people have asked and the ones that have reoccurred quite a lot i've put into this kind of word document on my laptop and i'm just gonna answer the questions so yeah so yeah so you'll get to know a little bit more about me so the first question that i got asked a lot was people asking me how old i was so i am actually 21 and i appreciate i look a lot younger than 21 i feel like most people don't expect me to be 21 they still expect me to be in school but i am actually a university student so i am 21 which i don't know if that's a good or bad thing really i'm getting old now so <laughs> that's that question and then i also got asked um how did you get into coding so I haven't been coding that long, admittedly, because I am, I am only 21. I wasn't exposed to coding at school at all until, you know, it wasn't until I came to university that I was exposed to coding. So I've only really been solidly coding for maybe the last two years. And that's why I decided to do this channel, because I realised that when I was watching these videos of people that have 10 years experience in the field, they often miss over, you know, they often miss out things that as a beginner you need to remember, because obviously they have 10 years experience they can say yeah it seems very trivially easy to them but because I only learned maybe two years ago there's a lot of stuff that I feel like I can bring and, and kind of give to people that are learning and in terms of how I got into coding it was introduced to me through university so I study maths at university which again I think is a shock to a lot of you because a lot of people think I do computer science which I don't and again a side note you don't have to do computer science to learn how to code that's something that I'm just going to keep saying um, on my channel constantly is that you don't need to do a computer science degree to learn how to code. So I study maths and in maths we learn about Python and we kind of learn how to do basic mathematical operations. That was kind of the first year of my degree and we also got to learn some other programming languages as well. So I got into coding through my university modules, through going to university and studying maths and then I did a computational maths module and I loved it. The way that it was taught was just so amazing to me that I would, I would be like, whoa, this is so cool, you know, this maths, all of this is really cool. And then it was around kind of after I'd had that module and done that module, I was like, I'm really interested to figure out what else we can do with coding, what else you can do. So for me, it was, I was introduced to it at university, but I would say that a lot of the stuff I've learned, well, all of the stuff, mainly all the stuff I've learned has been just through my own kind of interest and my own kind of, well, let's spend a bit of time away from university and I'm going to learn some extra things in Python. So for me, although I did get into it through university, it's just been my passion and love for it that has got me so much further with kind of my knowledge of it. And obviously, yeah, I love it. So, <laughs> um, and then I got this question asked a lot actually, and it's something that I actually feel like it's really worth addressing is, so I got asked a lot, how much money do I make? And the straight up answer is nothing. I don't make any money at all. And I think it's probably because on Instagram, I actually do have quite a big following. I did some Instagram reels that just took off massively. <laughs> and now I have 50,000 followers on Instagram, which is incredible. So if you don't follow my Instagram, please go follow it because I put so much on there that hopefully if you're my subscriber, you'll want to see it. But I don't make any money at all from anything that I do. You know, I do put a lot of hours into my videos and into everything I put a lot of time into it but for me I, I don't mind putting all this effort into my videos because I know that it's helping people and honestly the responses I've got from everyone on my channel and everyone on Instagram and social media has been 
incredible and it just makes everything that I do so worthwhile because everyone is so lovely and people are just saying oh you're an amazing teacher like I've learned so much and I just I just want to say thank you to everyone who sends such lovely messages it really does mean a lot but as I say I don't make any money you know I'm not at the point where I'm eligible to make money from ads on my YouTube but you know as soon as I am at that stage I will probably turn ads on my videos and that's mainly so I can you know start earning a little bit of money so that I can invest it back into this channel because then I can take the money that I do earn which will be nothing to begin with you know it'll be very small but take that money and invest it back into the channel and honestly I have such big plans for this channel that I would love for it to get to a point where I'm earning money so that I can give back to people because the one thing with the tech industry and I find is that yes it's so accessible if you have a computer but so many people don't have computers and I would love to get to a point on my channel where I'm earning enough money to give back to people that don't have those resources I would absolutely love to go and give people laptops so that they can educate themselves and, and get into tech so you know that is <laughs> very far off in the future but that is something that I would absolutely love to do on this channel it's, there's so many people uh, in a disadvantaged situation and I'd love to be able to take them out of that disadvantage situation somewhat and say give them a laptop and say yeah now you can start coding you know things like that but obviously that is a long way off in the future but to summarize that I don't make any money I have recently partnered with Bright Network and that has all been for free just because Bright Network are incredible and they are doing things for free for students so that's why I said use my videos because then people have free access you know to these videos and everything else I don't I haven't got sponsored like once so you know my channel's only small so I was quite surprised to get this comment but it did come up quite a lot and also I'm a student so I don't I'm you know I'm not earning money from a job or anything so the next question I had and I got asked this quite a few times actually was who is your biggest inspiration and I do have a few people that inspire me I think firstly it would be Katherine Johnson if you have watched the film Hidden Figures it is basically who the main character is is focused towards it's Katherine Johnson and she was a NASA mathematician, obviously I do maths. She was responsible for kind of a lot of the stuff that went on in the early stages of when when NASA were getting things to the moon and, and out of outer space and stuff. And for me, she is one of my biggest role models. And also I'm inspired by Tim Peake. He is a Brit British astronaut. He's one of my biggest inspirations. Brian Cox as well. And yeah, I just, I just love, to me, anyone is an inspiration is somebody that is striving for kind of equality or kind of improvement so you know Tim Peake is constantly saying trying to get more kids into STEM and that's what I love so much about Tim Peake and Brian Cox is they're trying to get more people into STEM and, and get people infused and that's where I kind of want my channel to go like I'd love to be an inspiration to you know women that want to get into the tech industry just to show you that no matter what your age what your gender anything anybody can do it so that's kind of why I want this channel <laughs> to be like kind of an inspiration to other people but yeah they're, they're people those those are the people that inspire me and obviously my family inspire me as well my parents and and my friends and everybody I've got some really lovely friends and family that support me so to me they they inspire me every day the next question I got it wasn't actually a question they just said I love that you have a minimal setup reassures me as a beginner and this is something that I actually wanted to address on one of my videos before was sometimes I'll post things and when you're a beginner coder you won't have massive setups of pcs monitors you know loads of laptops all this a lot of gaming uh, gaming equipment stuff like that and what i decided to do with my videos is literally code on a laptop because most people will be coding on a laptop and it's just that reassurance of you don't need all of this tech equipment to code you literally just need a laptop and that is it you don't need all of this crazy tech equipment so that's why in my videos i make sure that I'm coding on a laptop because otherwise I think as a beginner you can get a bit daunted by it and think well I don't have all these gadgets do I need them you know you don't you just need a laptop and a bit of enthusiasm and and you'll go you'll go miles <laughs> okay so another question I got asked a lot was I'm a beginner which which language should I learn and I just put a little comment next to it saying this was asked a lot so many people ask me how to start coding and also what to do if they don't have a computer science background okay so Firstly, I am a strong believer that you should learn a programming language that is the e an easier version of a programming language. A lot of people will look at a programming language, see its capabilities, and then say, well, I want to learn that. The best thing you can do as a beginner, if you don't have, say, a computer science background or a STEM background, is focus on one like Python, 
which is why I'm teaching that on my channel because it is one of the easiest to pick up and once you've grasped the basics of a programming language that is deemed easier you can then move on to harder programming languages and you'll have learned the basics. Another thing to say if you don't have a computer science background it doesn't matter I'm from a maths background I know that's STEM but it's not computer science you don't need to have a computer science background as I said to do coding just bear that in mind you can anybody can start coding as long as you have an enthusiasm for it and a willingness to learn then anybody can code the next question I got was can you create a video on internship or job advice yes I'm doing a video today actually I'm going to film it hopefully today if my voice doesn't <laughs> break out I realize my, my voice is slightly sore it sounds like it's cracking a lot and it's because I've done a few videos today so my voice is kind of <laughs> a little bit sore but yes I'm going to do a video on on firstly what my internship was so I did a programming internship last year and it was as part of a UK space agency funded project so I decided to do a video on that because a lot of people think well the only route you can take is software engineering and that is not the case so I'm going to do a video on kind of what I did as my internship and then also I'm going to do a video on how I landed my internship and also how I did land other internships that were in software engineering and software development which got cancelled <laughs> due to coronavirus but I still ended up with the one that, that I got so I'm going to do two videos and they will be up on my channel soon. Then the next I had a lot of people ask just how I am in general and I'm, I'm doing well thank you for asking. I've just finished my exams and I'm now going into my second semester of third year. I'm doing some quite hard modules this semester so I'm kind of like getting a bit nervous to start. I start tomorrow so obviously I will have started by the time this this goes on to my YouTube but I'm doing good thank you. I hope everyone else is also doing well and keeping safe um, under the circumstances as well. I then had someone ask is coding hard? Okay so this is actually a video I'm going to create. It's a video on why coding isn't hard and why you shouldn't get discouraged. I think there's this misconception that people look at coding and think oh my gosh I can't do it it's so incredibly hard I don't know where to start you know there's all these programming languages I can't do it and that is a massive misconception and that's why I'm going to create a video on why anybody can learn how to code it's not hard as long as you stick with it kind of thing so I'm going to briefly say no today and I'm going to leave my, the rest of my response for that video so make sure you kind of subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on why I tell you very in depth why coding isn't hard but I just say no I think a lot of people will find coding hard because of the environment because of the way they've learned it and I think if you find the perfect way to learn how to code you won't find it hard and also don't put pressure on yourself that's something that's so important when you're learning anything regardless of whether it's coding you should never put pressure on yourself because that makes you less likely to learn it as efficiently but I'm going to leave it at that for now. I am going to create another really in-depth video on why it's not hard and some things that you can, like approaches you can take if you are finding it hard. Somebody then put, hello, I'm a beginner at coding and I'm getting worried knowing that my fellow mates are already good at it. Okay, so what I'd say to that is don't compare yourself to anybody else. Something that I found in the tech industry is it's so easy to compare yourself to everybody else, especially, you know, I don't have... 10 years experience because I'm only 21 you know I'm still a student I don't have full-time job experience and something that's really easy to do is compare yourself to people that have so much more experience than you and you just need to not you need to focus on yourself it doesn't matter if your fellow friends I think is what you asked if your fellow friends are already good at it it's absolutely fine everyone learns at different paces and you'll find that some people can learn it straight away and then they'll get stuck on things later whereas some people take a while to understand things but once they've grasped it they accelerate through everything else so don't worry don't get discouraged just focus on yourself and that's the best that you can do the next question i had was someone said what is your ultimate dream slash aim in life so for me i love anything tech related i absolutely love anything tech related i love coding i you know i love programming but i also absolutely love space so physics maths space all of that i absolutely love and a lot of people think that because i'm coding i therefore must be a software engineer and i'd love to be a software engineer but i would love to be a software engineer if it was aimed towards space and for me my ultimate dream in life is in terms of my career i would absolutely love to do some coding but also mathematics and physics for a major kind of space um, institute so I'd love to work for the European Space Agency I would just love to be able to 
have some form of contribution towards the space industry no matter whether that's a really large organization you know government organization like uk space agency or if it's like a smaller firm i would just love to have some form of involvement with tech and space that's like my ultimate goal in terms of jobs but i also may may go down a phd route as well i love theoretical physics and i love maths i would love to be able to do something that is a phd and get a doctorate so i'd be doctor um dr Ali Slito, which would be quite cool <laughs> but yeah so that's in terms of jobs but in terms of kind of for this channel as i said my ultimate dream for this channel would be to grow it to just get so more people involved in tech inspire more people to get into tech but if i start making money on this channel i would love to invest that back into people like you that watch my videos and people that are at a disadvantage that is something that i would absolutely love you know to create an organization to help people get it back into tech for people that are disadvantaged to get into tech i would just love to grow this channel so that it inspires everyone you know <laughs> which i know is an ambitious goal but i just think you know in the tech industry you need people that inspire other people and hopefully i can i can do that and help inspire other people so that's the main kind of dream for my channel but you know in terms of everything else in my life i think my main aim is to be happy and do something that i enjoy and just have fun you know it's it's okay if you don't know what you want to do just enjoy the process and be happy i think that's the the main kind of goal for me anyways just enjoy everything that i do and I, unfortunately i do so <laughs> which is good and i also just put at the bottom that i had somebody somebody asked a question but they didn't ask a question they said no question but i would like to thank you for teaching me coding i'm so thankful you're the best thank you and then i had some other comments from people saying that we love you and thank you and I just want to say thank you for watching my videos, for subscribing, for following, for everything. I honestly appreciate it so much. And I can't wait for, you know, if you stick with me on this channel to see where it goes. I have huge, huge plans. And yeah, I can't, I can't quite put into words how grateful I am to everybody that does subscribe and comment and support me. It really means so much to me. So thank you. I really appreciate it. But that is the q and I've tried to keep it relatively short because otherwise i'd be here for a long time i have just filmed quite a lot so if there are any other questions that you want to know desperately then maybe put them in the comment section below or i could kind of compile all the extra questions i have and do another questions and answers video but that is kind of the video today i thought i'd give you a little bit of an insight into where my coding background is what i do a little bit more about me and i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me and as always, if you like the video, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.